Hello everybody. Today I want to talk a little bit about facts I learned from Laos that I think are interesting. I'm doing this video because I feel like people, especially the younger generation, have a real disconnect from Laos and I'd like for them to learn more about where they came from, maybe reconnect with their roots and give them some opportunities to just learn some cool facts. Um, if this doesn't interest you um, because you feel like you know a lot, you probably do. A lot more than me, at least, because I don't know a lot. I just know a little bit. But I'll share a little bit that I know with you and hope you guys uh, learn a thing or two. Um, <clears throat> first thing is, the province with the most Hmong people in Laos. If you know this, you probably could say it out loud right now, because it's an easy one. And that is Sien Kuang. Sien Kuang. Okay? You have a lot of Hmong people there. It's a very big province. Um, it's where the Plains of Jars is. And that's... Uh, really cool place if you get a chance to visit. The second fact, the city with the most Hmong people in Laos. Now a lot of you might say Pansavan, and I don't want to say you're wrong, because census data um, taken from a country like Laos can be very inaccurate. Not, not on the government's fault, the government side, I mean maybe it is, but not from the government side, but just because it's hard to take census data from a country with a lot of people that have a hard time documenting themselves to begin with, that are disorganized and are living a, you know, kind of a rural life like that. And so, but on paper, the city with the most Hmong people in the country of Laos it has switched and it is now Chitao Um or Lak Ha Sip Song. And maybe many of you know this city and you know, uh, have relatives that live there and you know where it is. I mean, I'll, if you've been to Laos, you've heard of Chitoa. <laughs> and um, this, the city name literally means 52. And it's named that because it's at the 52 mile marker on the road, <laughs> which is really cool, really unique. Um, oftentimes they'll name cities after mile markers, um, like Chitoa. And there is a lot of Hmong people that live there. And a lot of them lived there a long time ago, but a lot more Hmong people have moved there in recent years which has really boosted the population and why there's so many Hmong people there now. Um, the southernmost large Hmong city is called Laksau. Laksau, and it's way south for Hmong settlements, especially in Laos. I mean, there might be some in other countries more south, but in Laos, it's Laksau. And that means the 20 mile marker, <laughs> the 20 mile marker. And uh, that's another really cool city. If you get a chance to go visit, you'll see a lot of really cool things. Um, but the one, one common pattern that you'll see is cities that are named after mile markers and not all the time, but usually if they're named after a mile marker, it means it's a Hmong town, which is kind of cool. Um, I'd always drive through a town and I'd see that kind of name on the, the, the sign saying that was the city we were approaching and you'd see a bunch of Hmong houses and it was really cool. Um, now the last place I want to talk to you about is Sai Simbun, Sai Simbun. So Sai Simbun is a new province. In fact, um, oftentimes it's not considered a province at all, but just a, a part of a province that's administered separately. And that's because that's where all the CIA bases were during the war, like Longchang. And because of that, because of that, they put special consideration into that area, the government. Um, in case anything happened and you know they're really worried about that spot um and so it gets its own administration and everything else but because of that it uh really isolates that area and if you go there you'll see something really interesting and i don't know if the facts are true on this but from what i've seen with my own two eyes i think it is this way that the, the province with the highest per capita amount of Hmong people would be size and blue because when you go there it's pretty much all Hmong people unless it's at the mine, and they have a big mine there. Um, pretty much all Hmong people in every town is a Hmong town. Now, there are some Lao towns there, but it's majority Hmong, which is really cool. But since it's so isolated, it's like you're seeing Hmong people from 100 years ago, living the way they used to live hundreds of years ago. And you can see this in every province. You really can. Um, but Sai Simbun is kind of unique because it's separated. And when you go there, you see that. And it's just a, a unique experience that I feel like you can't get anywhere else. But because it's a special province like that, as an American, it's really hard to visit. So, and it's not necessarily the safest place to visit. 
So if you're a risk taker and like an adventure and you want to go see something like this, it's well worth the visit. But at the same point in time, be careful. Um, and uh, with that being said, this ties up my video. <laughs> this ties up my video. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Ciao, Mungao. Shinji Dua.